CS 2017, uh, you don't only have the Geneatech area, you also have MyGika area. Yeah, let me introduce you to our MyGika family from North America. Uh, we're having over here uh, the MyGika booth where we show our own brand business. We have our teams from Toronto as well. Uh, let, can I introduce you to Nick? Uh, can we just have, I'm just doing an interview here, but it's live. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You're with us, come on. It's live. <laughs> so we have Nick here. Nick is the uh, head of our Toronto partnership and uh, office. We're working together to promote our own brand business. Uh, it's more part of a family of uh, Genetech itself. So Nick, please tell, what's going on on your booth? Lots going on uh, this year with our booth. We're excited uh, to introduce uh, a few new boxes. We got the latest ATV 1960 model. Uh, the greatest advantage of this Android box is you can put uh, over the air antenna, then it supports the dual tuner. Is it connected right now? Uh, no, there's no antenna in here. This is the uh, Actually, there's two versions, one with the antenna and one without the, the antenna. So we have the one without the antenna, so we can't get reception in this building. So that's a right. powerful uh, CPU in this one? Oh yes, this one uh, This one here will be the S912. This octa-core uh, octa -core uh, Cortex 64-bit uh, ARM Cortex A53. Yes. Super and, powerful uh, three, one. Uh, three gigs of RAM. which were, Three uh, gigs? Three gigs. Oh, we went all out on this particular one here. And the gigabit LAN port. AC, uh, AC wireless. Um, at the bottom of the box, you could uh, insert a two and a half inch hard drive or solid state hard drive up to uh, two terabytes. Is nice. all you're recording. That's uh, that's really powerful stuff. And uh, so, and there's a nice remote. Can you show this one? Yes, this remote is our um, KR303, which uh, has internal battery, backlit uh, keyboard. Backlit? Backlit on this, and uh, microphone as well. Wow, you can do voice commands? Voice commands, uh, you name it on this, on this remote. It's very, very thin design. So what's the price? Uh, price point on this one here will be uh, $39 uh, retail. And, but uh, for the whole TV box? The TV box? Is it this uh, one, the box, when you sell it? Uh, well, this oh, that's not the one? Okay. We don't have the gift box for these particular models. Yeah. These ones are coming in uh, Q2. Uh, this particular model uh, is available right now. Uh, retails for about 149 US. All right, 149 is sell. Uh, so you the North America office of Magica. That's correct. Uh, so you are selling all of uh, all over the all over the US. All the US, Canada? Canada. Yes, we have offices in uh, Indiana right. and in uh, Toronto. Cool. And you you also have uh, some other kind of products right here. This is yes. potentially what could happen in the future, right? That's correct. This want to be uh, Q Q3. Uh, it's our first box with a uh, LED uh, screen on the front. Nice. which will uh, show you, it'll have a weather widget on there, uh, a clock, and tell you what kind of uh, RAM and uh, processor uh, usage is being used. All right. As internal power supply in this particular one, and this yeah. is also octa-core uh, CPU, nice. S912. Cool, and you also have a, a potentially a dongle right here. There's yeah, lots of different products you can Oh yes, sell, this right? dongle is uh, it's based on the S905X from AMLogic, 4K, um, HDR. 60 frames, yeah, HDR, 60 frames per second, uh, AC Wi-Fi, yeah. uh, so the wireless on, the, on this stick is uh, phenomenal, and it'll include a Bluetooth remote. All right, and you have another colleague over here, can you introduce? Uh, this is uh, Mark English. Hi, hi, who are you? My name is Mark English, I do a lot of the product development here at MyGika and ITV in North America. Uh, I'm glad you're here, let me introduce you to our new products. The ITV Netstream brand here is going to be your ATSC boxes and what these are going to allow you to do is hook them up into an antenna right into the back the over-the-air free antennas as you know throughout the city. ATSC? ATSC of course we have the other uh, abilities throughout the other countries like Europe and things like that um, but mainly in North America here we're focusing of course on the ATSC and with that. And actually for example in California let's say there's like 40 or 60 channels over the over the air yeah, they have a lot of television channels over there. That's um, free, over-the-air channels. Absolutely free. And that's the greatest thing about it. It's in full HD. 
and you're able to get all of those channels right onto your devices and television through the internet, through the network, whatever you're trying to do. And can you also do cable, uh, some other kinds of sources for content? Oh, that goes through a TV box, it cannot go directly, right, to this one? We're going to be putting some HDMI inputs into the device, um, as well as being able to stack them as well, and that's going to allow you to put whatever it is of your content into the device as well. Um, so what are we looking at here, different size, big, small, medium? Yeah, well here you have your single tuner. If, you're, if you don't need to be able to do uh, three or four yep. at once, then you know, you're going to be able to just hook this one in and stream it wirelessly, and you're going to be able to connect to it from any device you want. And when I say any device, I really mean um, anything that has the ability to download the application. You're going to be able to do it on a Roku, an Amazon Fire Stick, Apple TV, uh, Android, iOS, Mac, whatever you throw at this device, you're going to be able to uh, watch it on something. So let's take the example in a situation where you're heading to your cottage, you don't have the cable services there, you don't have satellite services up at your cottage, but you want to be able to get your content. The other part of the cottage scenario is that if you put an antenna on the roof of your cottage, you're not going to get the channels that you're likely going to get in the city at your home. At, so what you do is you put the antenna at your home, you hook in the box here, and then you stream it to your internet up at the cottage. And that's going to allow you to get all of your over-the-air free channels wherever you are, without having to pay for it at every it's location. It's not only at home. Correct. It's all over the web. Correct. It's going everywhere uh, that you are going. Do you need to enter some IP addresses or something? Was easy to set up? It's very easy to set up. Uh, basically, you're just taking the device that you're going to use it on and be in the same location to start with. And it, when you're on the same network, it just connects to it automatically and it's synchronized so that whenever you leave that property, it knows where to go. Worldwide, you can just go travel, have Anywhere. access to all your TV. As long as your internet is capable of doing it, it's going to be able to do it. And what's the bit rate? Do you need a fast upload speed or it's going to be okay? You don't need a very fast internet connection. The great thing about the Vixis chipset that's inside of these is that it transcodes the 10 megabytes per second or higher of HD content coming through the antenna down to one megabyte per second without losing any of the quality. So with one meg, that's one gonna megabit. allow you- One megabit. One megabit, so you're gonna be able to do that from basically anything, from anywhere that you are, regardless of your internet connection. Even in the US, one megabit upload is kind of standard, right? I'm joking, but it's fast <laughs> enough for one megabit, right? Uh, uh, the the Usually one megabit upload, get 10 absolutely. or something in the US. Sure, uh, of course you want to have it a little bit higher. You don't want to experience any buffering, or if you're using it on more than one device, you're going to want to have a bit faster connection. But All right. I like with everything. And uh, what is this one? The pocket size HDTV for your Mac? So this is all using the same technology, of course, as our ITV U6. Uh, you know, the the current generation of people coming up and watching the over-the-air channels, sometimes they don't really care about having it on a TV or traveling with it. They just want it on their laptop. A lot of people are using their laptops for everything they do now, and this is going to give them the ability to, no matter where they are, use uh, their over-the-air channels onto that laptop. Cool. So uh, what are we going to look forward to in North America? Lots of Magica happening? It's going to be huge, all this stuff. As you see with Genia Tech and ITV and Magica coming in, we have a lot of new products entering all of the markets and all of the big stores coming into the U.S. in 2017. You're going to be able to find these at most of your major retail outlets and very soon. And here at the Las Vegas CES, you're talking with lots of potential distributors? Oh my gosh, uh, more that we were meeting with our distributors that we've recently signed for North America. If you know our products from Canada, you know that we are already everywhere that you can go. So this year, 2017, we're going to be in all your major retailers down here as well. And so, uh, um, uh, Genetech, who's uh, making the software, hardware, and everything, uh, experts in making very stable hardware and software, this is a uh, high quality stuff. Absolutely. The thing about our business is that we, we try to be a little bit unique. We're always introducing new stuff. We know that everybody wants to see latest, greatest stuff, but they also want it to work. There's so many things out there that just leave a lot to be desired. And we want to make sure that what you're getting is a quality product that's not only built to last, but is backed up with service, warranties, customer support, phone chats, forums, and things like that. Software updates. We know it's unique. The over-the-air updating is a huge bonus. With everything always constantly changing, with operating systems updating so frequently, you want to make sure that you're getting your latest stuff.